Over the past few decades, Vietnam has emerged as an important oil and natural gas producer in Southeast Asia. Joining me now is Ms. Fung Ho, VP and CFO of PV Drilling, the key company in the country's oil and natural gas sector, to talk about the opportunities and potential the region has to offer. Well, Ms. Ho, Vietnam has a rapidly growing economy. So how has this benefited the oil and gas sector and how has it developed compared to the rest of Asia? Vietnam economy increased about 5% and um, foreign direct investment also increased double compared to last year. So Vietnam is the most attractive country uh, in Asia Pacific for the foreign investor. This domestic growth also affects to our oil and gas sector. We increased about 10% of oil consumption. You know that the oil production already increased about 13% and the natural gas production also increased about 20 percent and then um, Petro Vietnam also made decision to invest 1.4 billion US dollar per year uh, for the oil and gas activity in Vietnam. Vietnam trend number four after uh, China, Malaysia, India. Most of the local company want to have the opportunity to work in Vietnam so that of course as a drilling contractor we are the benefit from that one. Well, you currently occupy 55% of the drilling market in Vietnam, so how is your business structured? Firstly, we own managing and operation of the rig, and the second, we do the well technical service and drilling related service, such as mud rocking, tulu ballooning, and um, main bower workshop, wildlife, for example. Our company is one of the leading companies in the stock exchange Ho Chi Minh City with the market cap about 800 million US dollars, and uh, we have uh, uh, three red cup rigs. Uh, one uh, semi submersible rig and one uh, land rig. And um, it's the uh, total asset will reach to um, 1 billion US dollar next year. We have a uh, 15 subsidiary and about seven uh, subsidiary own 100%. The rest is a joint venture. You know that we are centralized the management system in our headquarters and all the subsidiary work toward the business strategy of the corporation. You've had an excellent year financially so far, so how do you intend to maintain this success? During the rising economy, we foreseen the opportunity um, for the economic recovery so that we continue to invest the high technology uh, trick and also equipment. Uh, so it's now it's key driver of our rowing and uh, also market drilling market also improved a lot uh, about 15 to 20 percent of the rising uh, increasing we got the operation efficiency rate very high about 98 to 99 percent per rig we have to um, uh, continue to invest to the high technology and also uh, to build up the competency uh, training system to train our people and uh, also we have to keep the very good the international management system uh, to make the investor and also the shareholder lion also uh, believe us and it will be um, very uh, sustainable development in the long run. Vietnam is a net exporter of crude oil but a net importer of oil products so how are you looking to address this? Vietnam currently only have uh, one refinery named Dung Quoc and uh, with the capacity about uh, uh, 145,000 barrel per day but the oil production achieved about 388,000 barrel per day so you can see that it's very far behind from the oil production. Now we uh, Vietnam plan to build up one more uh, refinery uh, Factory is named Nghi Sơn and also uh, will be joint venture with one UK company to build up the Vũng Rỗ refinery. So uh, Nghi Sơn will come to the operation in the year 2017 with the capacity about 200,000 barrel per day and Vũng Rỗ will be contribute in the year 2019 uh, with the capacity about 160,000 barrel per day. So total uh, in the year 2019, we will have, um, uh, we think that we estimate that we can be the net uh, importer of the rural oil. You're now expanding your operations overseas, so where and why? 
we want to be the international reputable uh, drilling contractor and also we want to be sustainable development. If we want to go to overseas, we have to be dominant in the drilling market in our country. And now uh, we already supply uh, forex in the offshore market and also we leasing about uh, five to six rig uh, from the foreign contractor, drilling contractor, and we already got the, about 55% of market share. And the second, we look forward to regional market from this year. We already set up the presentative office in Malaysia and also to do the joint venture with the one partner in uh, Singapore to build one more rig to supply to the overseas market. And we want to go firstly to regional market like Malaysia, Brunei, Thailand, because it's very near uh, to Vietnam and we can yield our authentic uh, primary pay in Vietnam. So uh, seeking a chance to work to the overseas is for our sustainable development and also to create an opportunity for our um, uh, real and related services. Uh, they already nominant in the Vietnam market. Risk management is an important issue in your sector. What's your approach? Our board director believes that the risk management is a very key value factor to contribute for the sustainable development so that risk management system comes to every function like business strategy, financial, operation, compliance. In our PV drilling, we have one division, it's named SSEQ. Uh, S means healthy, uh, safety, uh, environment. Uh, quality. So this division give the guideline and apply the international standards for every subject of the operation. We actually already uh, achieved a very good uh, performance of the operational. We already achieved zero air a lot of time incident. And in the year 2014, uh, we intend to build up the risk management system based on the ERP Oracle. And uh, we already selected one of the big four uh, ENY uh, and Young company to be our consultant. And it will be uh, hope that it will be expected that it uh, will be finished in the year 2014. Miss Ho, thank you. Yeah, thank you.